With the year nearing an end and the month of December fast approaching, Qantas is likely to announce which aircraft type they will place orders for for their project Sunrise. Only recently, Qantas broke records flying a 787-9 with 50 passengers on board to test passenger and pilot behaviours during such long flights. So far, they have shortlisted two airplane types, the A350-1000 and the 777-8. Airbus was rumoured to develop an A350-1000 ULR with longer range for Qantas, so recently it was reported that Airbus would instead offer an upgrade of the baseline A350-1000. Boeing, on the other hand, has faced huge delays with the 777-9 and has postponed development of the smaller 777-8. The 777-8 is now unlikely to fly till 2022, and even that seems optimistic. It is worth noting that Qantas is not the only interested customer, with airlines like Qatar Airways asking for more range on A350-1000. So without further ado, cue the music and let's see which airplane from both manufacturers is best. Before we do, just a quick shout out to Bravo Bravo. Check out his channel sometime for some great FGeek content. Okay, let's get the comparisons rolling as ever with performance. The main reason for both of these airplanes is their impressive performances. Airbus has been working to increase the maximum takeoff weight of the A350-1000. By 2022, the A350-1000 will be capable of carrying 380 passengers while flying 8,700 nautical miles. Certainly impressive performances. As of now, the 777-8 can carry 365 passengers while flying 8,690 nautical miles. However, Boeing has yet to work on increasing the range of its 777-8. Qantas though is likely to configure their aircraft to carry around 300 passengers in a 4-class configuration to increase the range of the airplanes. It is also likely that the 777-8 will be able to carry more cargo payloads than the A350-1000. Overall, both these airplanes have very similar performances, but as of now, the A350-1000 has the edge over the 777-8 in passenger capacity and range. Both twin-engined airplanes are powered by exclusive engine types. The 777X has a new GE9X engines. The GE9X builds on the reputation of GE90, but with new higher bypass ratios and a larger fan allowing for 10% reduction in fuel burn. The new Rolls-Royce Trent XWB97 engine powering the A350-1000 is a heavily upgraded version of Rolls-Royce Trend XWB84 engines already flying on the A350-900. With such long flights, passengers' well-being is certainly a consideration by airlines. Hence, it is important that the airplanes have comfortable cabins. The 777X has the widest cabin of any twin-engine widebody jet 
measuring 5.97 meters wide, a full half a meter wider than the A350. The airplane can finally accommodate 10 abreast economy seating with 18 inch wide seat bases. The 777X is quieter than today's 777s. There are also many more improvements such as the new architecture with higher ceilings, more moist air and lower cabin altitude of around 6,000 feet. This all helps to improve passenger well-being. It also has larger windows than A350 and optionally airlines can select the electronic shading system on 777X. However, for such long flights, the A350 XWB has got the better cabin. For one, the airplane is the quietest twin-engine white body currently flying. The airplane may have smaller windows than 777X, however, it has larger seats in economy. In a typical 9 abreast configuration, the airplane can accommodate up to 18.5 inch wide seats. The A350 also has even higher ceilings which allows for an even more spacious feel. Similar to 777X, it has lower cabin altitude with more moist air and both airplanes have the latest in IV connectivity. The A350 does however have a unique underfloor IV cable system, allowing for more space under the seats without a bulky IV box getting in the way of passengers' feet. Overall, while the 777X has got a wider cabin allowing more space for special amenities, the A350 brings the highest level of passenger comfort to all passengers which is crucial on such long flights. Moving quickly on to advantages and disadvantages, the A350-1000 is more efficient than the 777-8 with slightly superior performance. Thanks to its clean sheet design made of composite materials, the A350-1000 has a lighter fuselage and wing compared to the 777-8. Hence, it burns much less fuel per trip with even lower fuel burn per seat. It also carries passengers in slightly more comfort with its quieter cabin. However, the cargo capabilities of the airplane remains unclear. The 777-8 can carry a full operational payload with extra cargo while flying the missions. It also has a larger cabin allowing for more special amenities like bars or more. However, it lacks the range of the A350-1000 with higher trip costs. Both airplanes are easy for airlines to transition, with the A350-1000 having a similar type rating to A330 and a common one with the A350, while the 777-8 has a similar type rating to the 787. So far, the upgraded A350-1000 has not received Qantas order. It is worth noting that the new 319-ton variant of the A350 is a simple evolution of the A350 with some simple upgrades rather than an all-new airplane. The current A350-1000 has received 180 orders. The 777-8 on the other hand has only received 45 orders though as of now, those orders are questionable. Qatar has considered upsizing their 10-8 orders to the larger Dash 9 variant should the Dash 9 have impressive performance. Hence, as of now, the A350-1000 seems like a more solid platform to build on with more secured orders.
So which then truly is best? Well, the 777X is a great evolution of the popular and successful 777 series. It's built on the 777's huge customer base and its reliability records. The larger 777-9 is also an extremely capable wide-body aircraft that is in a class of its own. However, the smaller 777-8 is simply too inefficient compared to A350-1000. It has similar trip costs to the larger Dash 9, but as it is a shrink with lower passenger capacity, it is penalised with high seat mile costs. The A350-1000 on the other hand is an extremely fuel-efficient airplane. With new upgrades, the new 319-ton variant of the A350-1000 is also extremely capable with the same performance figures as 777-8. I would also like to add that the A350-1000 is the most optimized A350 variant while the 777-8 is really a de-optimized 777-9 in many ways. Overall, in my humble opinion, with its higher performance and efficiency, the A350-1000 is the better airplane for the world's longest flights. Do you arrive at the same verdict? Do let me know which you think is better in the comments below.